Hello and welcome to this Hacker Zone video tutorial from Android Magazine. Today we'll be looking at how you can install a custom ROM. For the purpose of this tutorial, you'll need to have rooted your phone already and you'll also need to back up your data and apps separately. Both these topics will be covered in separate tutorials. First off, you'll need to install ROM Manager. It's a free app available in the Android market. Once you've installed it, open the app to continue. When you rooted your Android device, it's quite likely that at the same time you installed a custom recovery. ROM Manager will check that you have this installed and that you have the latest version that's available. Before you can begin the process of flashing a new ROM, you'll need to perform a full backup. In, in ROM Manager, click on the Backup Current ROM button. Give the backup a name, perhaps something like Standard ROM Backup, or just save it by the date that it offers, and click OK. The phone will now automatically reboot into recovery mode. The backup process can take a while, so make sure you aren't expecting any important calls. The recovery backs up your current ROM to the SD card, so it's important not to format this, as you might need it in future. The whole backup process could take as long as 15 minutes. With your ROM backed up, we're now back in ROM Manager. Click the Download ROM button. This will bring up a list of available ROMs that are compatible with your device. You can check how popular each ROM is, and also rate them. In this example, we will be installing the Cyanogen Mons Mod 7.1. It's one of the most popular custom versions of Android due to the stability and wide device support. It's strongly advisable to stay away from the nightly builds, as these are largely experimental. Google Apps don't come as standard, so click to download them when you load the ROM. The new ROM you're downloading could be quite large, so it's Useful to download using a wireless connection. The download could take another 10 minutes or so. Once the ROM and Google Apps have finished downloading, reopen ROM Manager and you will see the ROM pre-installation screen. Tick the Wipe Dalvik and Wipe Data and Cache boxes. Click OK and the phone will reboot into recovery again. The ROM will now begin installing. This might take a while. Once complete, the phone will reboot again. The first boot of any new ROM can take a while, sometimes up to 15 minutes, so be patient and don't panic if the device appears to have frozen. Once the ROM has been flashed, the phone will reboot and you'll see the familiar Android welcome screen. Here you can enter your Google account details, which will automatically sync your contacts, settings and some of your apps. The process is now complete and you've got a whole new ROM on your phone to explore. And that's the end of this tutorial. There's a lot more you can do with hacking and routing your Android phone. Check back on our YouTube channel soon for more tips and tutorials.